And very good Tuesday morning. Today is June 9th. It's 2015 and the time is just after 7 a.m. I'm meteorologist Eddie Shear. Hope you're having a good morning. Certainly was a cool one out there, although not as cool as it looked like it was going to be. I don't think anyone's going to complain about that. What you see there on your screen is the webcam from Kitty Vitty Lake. Certainly is a nice morning, although temperatures are a bit cool. We are still looking at single numbers across most of Newfoundland at this hour. Talk more about that over the coming minutes. Currently what it looks like in Tor Bay, we have some peaks of blue sky, but also some high thin cloud cover trying to work its way in. Along the southern shore of the Avalon, that's what it looks like in Trapassi this morning. Looks like we see some clouds and also some blue sky. Looking good in Holyrood as well. TCH, no problems that I'm aware of at the moment. On the Buren Peninsula and Salt Pond, also looking pretty nice this morning. Out into Gander, looks like we have a bit of an overcast sky. And in fact, as we get west of Gander, there are a few rain showers around this morning. Like in Corner Brook, we can see it right there. The road does appear to be wet in much of western Newfoundland, including Corner Brook and Deer Lake. is seeing a little bit of light rainfall this morning. Same thing into St. Anthony. That was pretty much expected as a low pressure center is moving into western Labrador today. Into Churchill Falls, we're also seeing a bit of light rain at the moment as well. That's currently what it looks like in Happy Valley Goose Bay, where we're also seeing a little bit of light rain. And I also had a webcam from Mary's Harbor I wanted to share with you, but that one didn't seem to make it, so my apologies, but that too was showing a little bit of light rain. As far as temperatures go across the island, we are looking at 5 degrees at Cape Ray, 7 in St. John's, Clarenville sitting at 6, Gander, it's 11, and looking at almost 8 uniformly from Rocky Harbor down to Port of Basque on the west coast, and Anthony sitting at 6 degrees. So a cool start to the day, but it will warm up into Labrador. Temperatures are near 10 from Mary's Harbor up to Cartwright and back westward through Labrador City. Cooler along the coast, though, 1 in McCovic, 5 in Hopetail, Nain, currently sitting at a balmy 0 this morning. That number is nobody's friend this time of year. Satellite and radar imagery, again, showing a whole lot of cloud cover working its way through Labrador. A lot of that is light rain with an area of low pressure that will push in from the west today. We're also seeing some light rainfall across much of western Newfoundland. It does extend just northeast of Gander, although I'm not sure that's reaching the ground, but I suppose there will be a slight chance of showers into central Newfoundland today, but the biggest threat for those showers will be along the western side of the island today as that low works its way into western Labrador. Now, this map isn't showing the showers and light rain that will fall across much of the southern half of Labrador today from Labrador City and Churchill Falls back through Cartwright and south, but there will be some showers there today as well. Same thing along the west coast, and I guess a slight chance for central Newfoundland while eastern areas. We'll see generally a mix of sun and cloud today and much more comfortable temperatures. In St. John's, we're looking at a high of 17, closer to 14 on the Buren Peninsula, a gander 16, 16 as well in Corner Brook with the showers, and the showers persist across much of the western side of the island today, and same thing across much of Labrador. Now, if you're on the southern facing shorelines of the island, you're going to be in the onshore Shore flow today as winds will shift to southerly, so temperatures there closer to 10 or 12 degrees uh, with the patchy dense fog. So I wish I had some better news for you there, but that's look and that looks like the weather pattern that's going to pretty much stick with us for the next few days. Next chance of rain on the island will be Friday. Labrador remains very unsettled throughout the week. I'll have your extended forecast and more forecast information through the day. And as always, on NTV between 5.30 and 6 on First Edition, and between 6 and 7 on the award-winning NTV Evening News Hour. You can also catch me on social media at Eddie Shear on Twitter and meteorologist Eddie Shear on Facebook. Have a great morning.